Today I want to show you one of the things I like best about ReSharper, and that's the test runner. Now I'm using ReSharper 8.2 because I haven't gotten around to updating this machine yet. One of the first things I like to do after installing ReSharper is to open up the Unit Test Explorer. And I do that by going to ReSharper, Windows, Unit Tests, or Control-Alt-U for you keyboard people. And this shows you all the tests in the solution that I have open. And I'm using NUnit, which is supported out of the box. If you're using uh, XUnit or MSpec or something, you may need to install a ReSharper extension. In this solution, I have four tests. I'll just click this Play button here at the root level to run them all. When I do this, ReSharper opens up a new tab in a Unit Test Sessions window to show you the results. Red or failing, green or passing. You can also see ignored tests with this icon there. You can click on a failing test to see why it failed. It shows the expected and the actual. It also shows the end unit message if you write one. And it also shows where the test failed. You can click the link right in the message to go to where it failed. Just have some example test here, so I'll change this to true to make it pass. Then I can click this little icon here to run that one test again. Click that and run. It shows up in the unit test sessions window as now being passed. Or I can run all the tests in this fixture by clicking this icon up here, run all invoice tests. Or I can go back to the sessions window and just run the test from here with this play button. And finally, I can go back to the Unit Test Explorer and just run the tests all again. So that's why I really like ReSharper's Test Runner. It's really flexible and gives you lots of options and really easy to use. Thank you.